Hello everyone, my name is Prerna and today I am excited to share with you all the 6 coding solutions I have submitted for my code beta. Each video will feature one of my codes and I will work to you through the logic and how it works. The first code I am presenting today is Best Bubble. This program is all about finding the number of swaps needed to sort an array either in ascending or descending order. Using this bubble sort algorithm, let's drive into the explanation and see how it works. Let me zoom this a bit. So, yes, this is not clear. Yes, I will explain each part of code so that you will get it. I will start from this public static int this line. So, this is a method bubble sort swaps that perform the bubble sort algorithm on the array. It takes three parameters ARR, N and ascending. Ascending is a boolean flag that determines whether to sort in ascending or in descending. Now this is int swap. So this line means this is a variable to keep track of the number of swaps made while sorting the array. The, our first for loop is for to see like this loop is for controls how many passes are made over the array. In bubble sort we make and passes to ensure the array is sorted. The next for loop is for like it used to check the pairs of the adjacent elements and swap them if needed. This this n minus i minus 1 so it this part ensures that already sorted elements at the end are skipped in further passes now this sending this line means this is the if condition that determines when to swap elements if sorting in ascending order ascending equals to equals to true it swaps if the current element is larger than the next one if sorting in ascending order then it swaps if the current element is smaller than the next one and this line means this is a block swaps the two elements and increments the swaps counted each time a swap is made. And this return swaps is, used, is done after completing all the passes. The methods returns the total number of swaps made while sorting the array. This one is the method finds minimum swaps calculates the minimum number of swaps needed to sort the array either in ascending order or in descending order. Now this is n here n stores the length of the array and this ARAC, ASC and ARDSC are the clones means are the copies of the original arrays. This is done so that we can sort one copy in ascending order and another copy in descend uh, like in descending order without affecting the original array. The, the two lines means that this is used to call call the bubble sort swaps method twice. Once for ascending order and the next is for descending order. This okay. Mm, now next is this one. Yeah, this one. This means that it, this returns the smaller of the two values swaps ASC and swaps DSC. That is the minimum number of swaps needed. Now this is our main method and this creates a scanner object to take input from the user. So here we go with our code yes and after doing this code 
यू विल फाइंड द रिप्रेजेंटेड रिप्रेजेंट प्रेजेंटेशनल एरर आई गेस हाँ सो दैट मीन्स दैट डजेंट मीन दैट योर कोड इज रॉन्ग इट ओनली मीन्स दैट देर इज अ स्पेस प्रॉब्लम ओके सो इट इज हंड्रेड परसेंट एक्सेप्टेबल बाय टी सी एस सो नो नीड टू वरी एंड दिस इज योर कोड यू कैन जस्ट कॉपी एंड पेस्ट थैंक यू एंड प्लीज डोंट फॉर गेट टू सब्सक्राइब एंड लाइक बाय